Hello YouTube, how you doing? Today we're gonna create a bootable USB uh, SD card. Here it is. It's a two gigabyte SD card. Uh, and we're gonna install, we're gonna create a bootable Bode. Um, yeah, install disk, safety boot disk. So we're gonna do it with uh, on a USB SD card because we have only USB ports on this device. It's a tablet, but we can also install this on a laptop. We might even do the install on the laptop as well. Um, what program do we need to do this? Well, we could go for UNet Bootin. UNet Bootin is a program that will, you know, help you to create a bootable um, stick from almost any Linux distribution. So we could go for that. We must start it up with administrator rights. Here you go, and um, here you will see that the USB drive is selected, the D, you see, this is the USB drive, you go to my computers, you must always take a look if it's also the D, you see, the E is something else, and this is it, what we need, the D. So now we need to uh, select our uh, distribution, here you go, body, we select it and we hit ok and in our next video we will uh, go ahead and install Bodhi we just went into the BIOS in the BIOS and we go to boot and I'm gonna make the first drive will be the USB stick you see that first drive USB stick so now it's on top we hit F10 okay so now the thing will not boot from Windows 8 anymore but it will boot in some way the F11 is not working not reacting at all so now we should boot from this so let's see if this works a little bit better you see my enter is not not working enter now it works there she goes Bodhi this is how it looks wow <laughs> this is not a spinning wheel this is a a kind of swimming wheel and according to the makers this should also run on a machine with 300 megahertz or more or 128 megabyte RAM or more. This is the most beautiful distribution that came out in 2014. So, and it's for free, you can download it. If we... Uh get something to see. Oh, there it is. We should be more patient. You see that? We should have more patience. Up here we hit next. It's not really touch screen. You have a mouse. But hitting next. It's not really helping. Okay. What should I do? Compositing. Oh, so, oh, here we can choose the desktop that we need. Laptop notebook, this one. Let's take this. And up here we can. Oh, the backgrounds. Let's take this one. Wow. Look at that, peeps. Body. And uh, yeah, we have a mouse, so it's not like really you have, but it's really touchable, you see? It looks amazing, yo. But I want this on the laptop, man. Look at that. Applications, sound applications, wow. Amazing. Time between update set CPU, wow. And by touching the, the desktop, you get into a menu that you can switch to. This is really beautiful. 
There was also something like run everything. What was that? Run everything. Let's see what that is. Uh, run everything. Okay. Applications. Settings. Also, this is like the settings or so. <laughs> oh, but look, 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 look at this. This is nice. Hey, we can... This is really nice. This is not even in Windows 8 possible. I think. There you still have to scroll with 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 the, with the side. This is really nice. Desktop change gadgets. Clock battery. Let's put the clock at gadget. Wow. Look at the clock. And we can put it wherever we want. Wow. Look at that, peeps. That is one sexy clock, yo. What do you think? Hey. Is this nice or is this nice? I think it's beautiful. And to install it, we just hit the install button. So, you know. But I'm, I don't want to install this version on this tablet. Because, in fact, yeah. This is more for computers with the mouse so you know really challenging would be to install this on my compact armada my 400 megahertz you know it's just a little above the specs that you know this thing says that the computer need and we can i think the thing has 128 megabyte ram of course it will not be that is fastest but maybe we can set the desktop like really light you know that it uses less resources I mean like I don't expect to see this on the old uh, Pentium 2 laptop but hey take it just think of it guys this is really an improvement uh, for Linux you know that it can run on so low memory you know look so nice has a complete working desktop including gadgets I think this is beautiful and uh, if you really want this as well my friends then um, you must go to where is it to this site it's called bodylinux.com and up here you will also see a little beautiful video that will you know immediately yeah um, give you inspiration to download it also if you see the the pictures you know desktop of the week and you see there are many versions that you here can download you see or at least this is news but there are two versions you can download here the 64 bit and the 32 bit you can also donate so all my friends with uh you know with credits all you guys with money there give my friends from Bodhi some uh, give them a little extra okay if you can miss it support these boys because they did a great job and uh well, I'm not going to make this video any longer. I want to say thank you for uh, this nice distributions, guys, there at Bodhi Linux. Keep um, keep doing a great job there. And, you know, uh, I'm going to test your, uh, your operating system and see how it works. Thanks again for watching, people. So, you know, just download it and install it. Let me know how it works for you. If you think this video was nice, if you think it was okay, you know, hit this video, like, subscribe to my channel and, you know, You'll get more information about things like that. Gonna drink my coffee now because it's getting cold. Thanks for watching. Bye.